This rotting tree becomes a food source for insects. And they, in turn, might provide a meal for me. There, right there, is exactly what I'm looking for. These are just crawling out of it as I'm cutting open this log. There could be hundreds of these inside. I love showing that there's beetles, and, and it makes good television probably because they're uh, creepy crawlies. But the whole technology of extracting starch out of sago palms, which in that part of the world, people are dependent on these sago palms that they grow. Wow, they bite too. Look at those jaws. Um, so the head is, the body's really squishy, and then the head has to be harder than the wood itself because that's what it's eating. So it's actually grinding away the log. And sometimes you see logs that are full of uh, beetle larvae. You hear them before you see them because all of those mouths are grinding apart wood. And so sometimes you can, in, when it's really quiet in the forest, you hear this. And it's just hundreds of beetles, beetle larvae, worms and maggots and grubs that are eating all that wood. And you can stick your, stick your head near, near a rotten log and just hear all that action that's inside. There are a lot of these in that log. I can carry with me and store them for later. But the ones that got damaged in the process, like that one, it's still biting, but it's all broken up. That would rot immediately. Yep. If you really want to know what I was thinking while I was, while I was chopping up this, this uh, log and, and eating grubs, I was also thinking, this is totally awesome. There's so many huge weevils in this log. I love it. So. Um, that's what was happening. And, uh, okay, back to eating grubs. Let's see what else happens. Oh, here's another one. Yeah, that one. It's just gonna go rotten right away. All right. Crunchy head. Just power through it. But, you know, make sure you crunch the head because they just bite your tongue if you don't, so. They're fine to eat raw. Sometimes they're even nicer to eat raw, but Generally, I like to cook them because the cooking process changes uh, the proteins and makes the, the insect protein uh, into a, it turns it into a protein that's more digestible by humans. So you get more bang for your buck that way. Yeah, yeah. tastes like that fermented wood. They do take it a bit of getting used to, but at this point, I'm pretty used to eating insects. So it doesn't bother me that much. I take the rest with me alive. In a world without refrigeration, it's the only way to keep them from spoiling. So I guess the take home of that is, is uh, as I told you, the insects themselves are fascinating to me and uh, they're a handy snack. So it's like the epitome of fun food. If you like what you've just seen, please don't forget to like, comment and subscribe.